Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie if you're new to my channel and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. Okay guys, so I have gone back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth on whether or not I wanted to do like a boxy charm versus Ipsy Glam Bag Plus because I did end up getting Ipsy's Glam Bag Plus in this month because I did I forgot to skip for February. So I did finally end up canceling, but hey, it's my birthday month, so hubby didn't really mind. What I have decided to do was, I was getting them for the same amount of time. I did miss a couple of months of boxy of Ipsy, but let me know if you would like, like me to compile a list of all the products I've gotten in Ipsy Glam Bag Plus and a list of all the products I've gotten in BoxyCharm and show you guys like this is what you get with BoxyCharm, this is what you get with Ipsy, like these are the brands you get with BoxyCharm, these are the brands you get with Ipsy and like then just shoot it out like that. Like let me know if that's something that you would be interested in. I'm just going to go back through my old videos and I'm going to skip the months that I didn't get. So the months that I didn't get Ipsy. I'm not going to count those months of BoxyCharm if I were to do that, just because I don't think it's fair. So with that being said, today's video is going to be my BoxyCharm unboxing. And here it is right here. You know, I wasn't upset with this month's box, but I wasn't like ecstatic about this month's box, but I do like everything that I got in my box this month. So I did have to make my own card because for whatever reason, BoxyCharm did not send out the cards this month. I'm not sure why. It was hard to find a price for one of these items. There's a lot of videos going around where it's like, oh, my box was worth $182, like yada, yada, yada. I think that if they're going to do boxes, like a one subscription box, like whether you vary, like give a variation of products or not, I think that you should make all base box products like the the to overall total value should be the same for every single person like everybody's paying 27 dollars so every single person's box the overall value should be the same if you get what i'm saying because i like i don't think that that's fair and i think it makes people like want to be mad at boxy charms so yeah so the first thing I'm going to start out with are these Evio, Evio, Evio Skin X Aurora Refresh, Refreshing Cleansing Hemp Wipes. And these, are, these retail for $9.50. The 15, pa the 15 pack retails for $9.50. They also have a 30 pack that retails for $14. What do I retail for? Priceless. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Okay, so the details or the description of this product is refreshing cleansing wipes from our Aurora collection are biodegradable and multi-tasking wipes made with hemp fibers to cleanse your skin and remove waterproof makeup while keeping your skin hydrated, reduce inflammation, and avoid irritation. So I'm actually kind of excited to try these out because I think I will throw these in our gym bag for days that I go to the gym with makeup and I go in the steam room because my makeup is everywhere. And when I say everywhere, I mean everywhere. Like my base products will last, but by the time I get out the steam room, no matter what mascara I'm wearing, it always runs. So I might try these out doing like that way. So throw these in the gym bag and then try them out like that. So the next thing that I got in here and I'm actually wearing it today is my Ciat is the Ciate Le Ciate London Everyday Vacay Coconut Setting Powder. Now my issue with Ciate London's setting powder is that they're all super white. A while back in my boxy charm, I got the extraordinary powder and it's super white. And honestly, you guys, I don't see a difference in them between the extraordinary and the coconut and the everyday vacay one other than this one smells like coconut i should definitely do a side-by-side -side comparison and maybe i will do that video just to see if they're the same thing and how they wear and whatnot so that video will be coming but yeah this is just what it looks like like i said these powders are super white i mean if you have a foundation that's too dark for you just go in with this powder it's gonna lighten it for you 
because this foundation or this powder is white and it adds a cast. It does say there's no flashback. Okay, and that retailed for $22. And the claims on that or the description of that says, lock in makeup for long last for for long lasting wear with Ciante London's Everyday Vacay Coconut Setting Powder. Delicately delicately coconut fragrance to take you back to the beach. This finely milled and lightweight loose powder smooths over your makeup for a crease-free soft focus finish with no flashback. I do agree that it's crease-free crease and soft focus. We, we have yet to see about the flashback. Okay, and the, la the, the last, the next thing I got in here were these First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads. These retail for $7, $7, $17 for the pack of 28. They have a larger pack that's like 30 or something like that, but these don't smell like anything. This is just what the pads look like. And the description, these retail for $17. The description is regular use of these pads improves skin's texture, enhance, enhanced natural glow and provides a smooth canvas for flawless makeup application cucumber and indian gooseberry help tone skin while lemon peel and licorice root help brighten complexion safe and gentle enough to use daily even on sensitive skin i might i mean for it to have all of that stuff in it i'm super surprised that it's actually not scented like i said it doesn't smell like anything. If you've ever used any of First Aid Beauty's products, like it kind of reminds me of like the cleanser and the moisturizer that they have. It's not too badly scented. Okay, and then the next thing that I got, and I did try these today. You can actually tell that I washed it and then stuck it back in here. So I got these Luxie Beauty, um, the sponge set and these retail for $40 and the description of these say no makeup routine is complete without the right blenders our Luxie sponges our Luxie sponges set allows you to create any look while enhancing your skin's natural complexion they are completely latex free and and as always vegan and cruelty free as well okay so this one is wet right now i used it today that's why it's like really big usually the size even though the shape is different the size when it's dry is still the size of this gray one and they all have a different purpose so for these sponges this little one right here is the Luxie Detail Blender, and which makes sense since it's super small, you can get really up in here, and I think like it would be good for like nose contour and stuff. And then this gray one is their powder blender, and I the, the gray one is their powder blender. So I think that this one would be really, really good for powder. Obviously, it's called their powder blender. It, I didn't really look up to see if you should use it wet or dry. I will let you know on the screen. I will look it up again for you guys. And then this one is their precision blender. And I did double check online to see which sponge was which. And this one is the precision powder and detail. So those retail for $40. I loved the way that the precision one works. Let me add all of these to my... I really love the way that the precision one works. I felt like it applied my makeup super smooth. I loved the application of it. I love the way it worked with powder. I love the way it blended out my concealer. And since this tip is so straight right here, I was able to go out and not mess up my wing or the sharp crisp line that I got from applying the eye tape with my eyeshadows. So I think well worth the money. This, this whole pack right here like makes up like, like this one sponge, I already like the whole pack. <laughs> like, because they all kind of have the same texture, but I don't know if they are all the same texture. Cause some, like, so we will continue to play with these. I did watch my, she gets BoxyCharm as well. Maybe next month we'll unbox our BoxyCharms together. Would you guys like to see that? Would that be pretty cool? Just to see the different variations of boxes. I think that'd be cool. Okay, so. Anyway, she was saying that she didn't like the way the gray one was applying her foundation. She had to switch sponges. Like she just wasn't having it. She said she had a terrible makeup sponge, a make makeup sponge, a terrible makeup day because of the way that that applied. So like I said, the powder one, do not use with foundation. Maybe it was just the foundation she used. The foundation she used is actually what I'm going to talk about next. And that is the Becca Ultimate Coverage Foundation. I have mine in the shade Buttercup and it actually is a pretty good match for me and my sister is the same shade. I think it's kind of weird because me and all my sisters are the same shade right now and I'm like, this never happens. They're usually darker than me or 
Destiny's usually darker than both of us. So this is the Becca Ultimate Coverage Foundation and I have mine in the shade Ford Buttercup. This retails for $44 and the only thing that I could find on it like description wise was a full coverage liquid foundation featuring 24 hour, featuring 24 hour water and transfer resistant wear with a breathable natural finish. Now my sister does tell me that this is super full coverage but what does she know? She has really great skin so she wouldn't know what what you what she she wouldn't know because her skin is so great so empty ways she says it's full coverage i've yet to try it i will keep you guys updated and maybe we can do a get ready with me with this foundation or something like that so yeah or an all day wear test something like that so go ahead and let me know if you would like to see that down below as well so that is all that i got in my boxy charm this month i'm actually not upset at it i did pick the foundation everything else they just gave me and i can say i actually really like it after trying the powder and the sponge and like i said i i love foundation i have had an addiction to buying foundation here recently so i'm really glad that i got it in my box like i didn't have to really pay for it i mean the box is $27 after shipping or whatever that extra $2 is that I'm charged. Um, that doesn't like, that's that's still less than what this foundation is. And like I said, I love foundation. I've always wanted to like, I like foundation. And so high, when I'm able to get high in foundation, your girl is in that thing. So the overall total value of my box was $132.50. Now, I'm not sure why we didn't get the card. I don't even know what this month's theme was or anything because we didn't get the card. But I'm not mad at this month's box. I actually really like it. I think 27, you pay 27, I pay $27. The box, the box retails for $25. Like I said, I don't know what the other $2 is that I pay, but I pay $27 a month. And my overall value of my box is $132.50. Now, with BoxyCharm, they have three different subscriptions. You can get Boxy Lux, with the, which is $50 on top of your, or your $25 every month. And then they have Boxy Premium, which is now $35 a month. And then they have their base box, which is the $25 a month, which I'm charged 27. Now, I don't know what's like the minimum value is for the other two boxes but the mini minimum value for the base box is 125 dollars so no matter what you're paying 25 dollars a month and your box will value no less than 125 dollars every single month you get choice you get boxy pop-up where you can get up to sometimes 90 percent off of products and like it just varies uh, but you can get a lot of money off products from their website when they do have the boxy pop-up store which is pretty awesome so like i said if you guys want want me to go out go through and pull out every product that i've gotten from both subscription boxes and just sit down and let you know which which box i like better and which box i recommend go ahead and just comment that down below if you did enjoy today's video please go ahead and give me a thumbs up also hit that subscribe button i love you guys but always remember that jesus loves you more and i will see you guys in my next video bye Mwah.